Hello everybody, Trekworks here with you. Well, here's an update on the uh, AMT Enterprise Clear Kit. And I've spent uh, a good two or three hours doing all this window scraping here, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, compared to some of the other models that I've seen that are done, where the, when they drill the windows out, they look pretty rough. And I notice you don't see a lot of videos that show the actual model with the lights off, uh, fairly up close to what, so what the windows look like. Um, this really comes out looking really clean. And uh, it's just really slow, time-consuming work uh, getting them all on there. But I wanted to show you what the result is here. And hopefully this isn't going to glare real bad. But uh, this is just awesome. I mean, this is going to come out fantastic when it's lit up. And uh, the detail on there is just really nice and crisp looking. It's not all... The edges of these windows aren't all jagged and everything. So I really think that this new clear kit is going to be the way to go for doing this enterprise um, I just wound up using a uh, I was using two things here I was using this little sanding stick and I was using the uh, uh, hobby knife and the hobby knife turned out to be the better way to go it, it took a little while uh, the good thing about it is is that when you're when you're doing the uh, initial work when you start you can if you screw something up or whatever you can just come back and touch it up with a little bit of paint and uh, uh, correct your mistake and then re-scrape it again and go back and make it look good. So that's really the beauty of this. This is going to turn out nice. Now, what I'll do is I'll once I get all this finished up and pretty much I think all the windows are done on it. And I really like the ones there at the back too. They really, uh, um, they really show the really nice crisp detail of those little individual windows that are in there too. So, like I said, this is really the way to go to do this model and really make it look nice. And um, I'll come back and I'll put a clear coat over this so it'll kind of protect it because one thing about using the clear is that uh, if you scratch it anywhere of course you're going to get light shining through so uh, you got to make sure you handle with care after you do everything and I sanded the entire inside of this with 600 grit paper and you can see that uh, I'll show you with a flashlight here it's not going to take many LEDs at all to uh, to light this up because uh, that that plastic just picks up that light so well. Probably only five or six nice LEDs, maybe maybe somewhere closer to ten, maybe by the time I get the center lit and everything, but not not nearly as bad as I thought. And it should uh, should light this whole model up really, really good. I'm going to turn the light off here real quick and show you what this looks like in the dark. It really looks cool. Okay, here's a pretty good shot of this thing lit up in the dark. And like you, like I said, the the lighting on it just looks crisp and clean and. Uh, really really nice I think it's gonna be fabulous when it's all painted and decal and all put together with the warp engines lit up and all the little details on it so um, for those of you who are working on these or one of these uh, thinking about getting one of these clear kits I really think it's the way to go it just really comes out nice and like I said you can get all those nice fine details in there looking good uh, and uh, the model looks good in the light too the windows aren't all jagged and on uh, different sizes and things like that they really they really turn out nice but be prepared for several hours of just tedious uh, up close scraping. I did this all underneath of my magnifying light there to try to uh, stay as accurate as I could. So pretty good. And uh, I'll be doing the bottom of the saucer next and then moving on to the hull. So this is just an update for you to see what it looks like now. And everything's coming along really good. Until I talk to you next time, everyone, happy modeling.